We're currently at mission elapsed time, four hours, 34 minutes, and this is Mission Control, Houston. Discovery Houston with you through Hawaii, and uh, we've got a good picture uh, of you all in the crew module. Discovery, Roger. Okay, Dick, uh, you ought to have a picture of the SBS uh, spinning in its cradle there. Discovery Houston, uh, that's what we're looking at, Steve. Okay, uh, tell you what, the deploy was just absolutely as normal as could be. Uh, the equipment worked uh, completely perfectly, and uh, procedures are in good shape, and uh, everything worked real good. It was uh, nice and easy. And uh, in a second, there you'll see the deploy, and uh, we felt uh, the bang, and uh, the orbiter shudder a little bit, uh, as I remember, I think John Fabian told me from STS-7. problem that we had uh, down here was the problem we had on the ground. Uh, the orbiter looks good. Additionally, some more info for you. Uh, we had a successful separation uh, from the spacecraft from the PKM and uh, spacecraft from all available data and tracking. Looks like it's uh, happily on its way to Apogee. Okay, that's uh, wonderful news. We're glad to hear that. And Dick, uh, you should see the ignition uh, just above the uh, end effector in the lower part of the uh, picture if you're looking at the uh, downlink of the wrist camera right now. Okay, uh, we just got a we just got a glow which uh, yeah, okay, we've got it real good now, Steve. Discovery Houston, one minute to LOS Hawaii. We'll see a Tedris at uh, 2 8. We're going to be powering down the PI and TSP. You can ignore your message. Okay, Dick. And that was a great uh, bit of footage there, Steve. It's obvious that you were right with the payloads people and seeing that good burn. I know we're about as happy as they are. Everything works just right. This is Mission Control. We have a downlink television of the pre-deploy activities. We're 29 minutes away from the deployment of the CENCOM. We 
have cabin television again. The payloads people have said that uh, we're go for deploy. Okay, John. Spacecraft passing over the Houston area at the present time. They can observe. Uh, Become a good weatherman. Roger that. And we have a note for Mike. Uh, Donna says that all the ducks are in a row. Okay, thank you. Okay, we've got it now, Mike. Looks great. Okay, pulling the pins was uh, completely nominal. We did, uh, well, there, there it comes out now, you can see. Heard a little bit of a thump when it deployed. The Omni antenna was extended in, a, in about uh, 20 or 30 seconds. I mean, that's how long it took to extend. It's a beautiful sight, uh, seeing it against the background of the Earth. We concur with that. Yeah. I guess it proves the physics of Frisbees works up here as well as it does on the ground. Roger that, just like in the SMS, and uh, thanks goes to the camera person. Okay, JR, I'll take that compliment. And just as we have been practicing in the SMS, we were able to track it all the way through the Ohmsburn. At the Ohmsburn, the uh, CINCOM was uh, uh, in front and, uh, and above us relative to the orbiter, and, and uh, we were easily able to track it. And this is mission control, status check in the control room here. All positions are go for deploy. This is mission control, two days, zero hours, 26 minutes. We're looking at the sun shields in the cargo bay. 16 and a half minutes away from deployment. Crew beginning mechanical sequence start. We see mechanical sequence beginning and the opening of the sun shield on the Telstar. Payloads uh, reports a nominal two motor current drive. Starboard restraints on the uh, on the spin table are being withdrawn. And very shortly we should see the spin up again of the satellite. And just like SBS, it uh, all worked super good. It was uh, absolutely novel. That really looks super. Yeah, we don't get to see it in color. We only have black and white TVs.